friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on the WW or the Weight Watchers Blue Plan. It's Saturday so it's another grocery haul. But this is a special grocery haul because not only did I find some fun Valentine's Day and new products at Trader Joe's, I also have a taste test for you which I'm really excited to share a little fun spin on this week's grocery haul. So if you're excited please give this video a big huge thumbs up and don't forget if you're new or you're not yet subscribed to my channel, I'd love to have you. Make sure you hit the little subscribe button and of course the bell next to it so you're notified whenever I upload. Grocery hauls happening every Saturday so you don't want to miss out. Don't forget to check out the description box down below for the last chance to pick up the 2021 calendar. I only have a handful left and when they're gone, they're gone for the entire year. It's a great way to track self-care, fitness, weight loss, and even your water. So definitely pick one up to help you make it through 2021. You'll also find my nutrition coaching website where you'll find personalized to you macros and calories. So many of you have taken advantage of this service and had huge success. So highly, highly recommend grabbing this service while you're over on my website. Also, you'll find 30 and 60 minute coaching sessions if you're looking for a little bit more one-on-one -on -one individualized support. You'll also find links, discounts to my favorite things, and my Facebook group. So before you go, definitely check out that description box. So without further ado, we have a grocery haul and a taste test, so let's jump in. Here is this week's grocery haul. I ended up going to Fred Meyer, which is a Kroger store, because I have some really fun recipes in store for you guys this week. And some of the items I needed, unfortunately, are only found at a Kroger store. So I had to go to Kroger this week, as well as Trader Joe's. I found some fun new things, Valentine's things, something for the dogs, and we're going to taste test the brand new Bear Bells protein bar at Trader Joe's at the end of the grocery haul. So definitely stay tuned for that. So let's jump into what I picked up for the week. First for Diesel and Lola for Valentine's Day, they actually had grain-free dog treats. If you didn't know, Diesel and Lola don't have any grain or chicken, which neither of those things are in these treats. So these are the mint flavored dog treats with beet powder. I love that they're coloring the treat with beet powder instead of an artificial color. So I had to pick that up for them for the week and for Valentine's Day. And here is the brand new flavor of the Bear Bell Protein Bar. This is Salty Peanut. So I asked the gal that checked me out if she tried it. She said yes, and it reminds her of a payday slash those Nature Valley Sweet and Salty Bars. So I'm pretty excited to give this a try. I don't love the ingredients in Bear Bells, but the other two that I tried were okay. So we're gonna try this at the end of the video, so stay tuned for that. I picked up a big 32 pack of bottled water because we're just about out and Troy takes a bottle in his lunch every day. Onion soup mix for a dinner recipe this next week. I just went ahead and grabbed the big box so that I had it on hand. This is great to add to cottage cheese, to season up burgers. So it's always nice just to have this available and on hand. I also also picked up some sugar-free jello pudding now generally I don't buy sugar-free fat-free anything you'll see some weird random items in this grocery haul just because there's a couple of WW friendly recipes that I want to make for you guys so I'm trying to keep them as low point as possible and in order to do that I did have to pick up the sugar-free jello pudding mix this falls into the 90 10 clean eating so I picked that up and then they had a few of their yogurts on clearance for 49 cents so I picked up two of the Oikos triple zero in peach. These actually don't even expire until the beginning of February. And then a toasted marshmallow Dan and Light and Fit just to have on hand. You can't beat it for 50 cents a container. I did pick up several spices. I was out of chili powder so I picked up the organic chili seasoning blend from Trader Joe's. And then this is a brand new Trader Joe's seasoning. This is the Zatar seasoning blend. I've heard that this is delicious on fish, chicken, and vegetables. So we'll try Try this I'll definitely let you guys know but this is brand new at Trader Joe's and then I also picked up some rosemary mine was expired and this was on sale for $2.99 at Kroger so I went ahead and grabbed it just to have rosemary back on hand the cheese pack for Troy he's still on his cheese and cracker kick so I picked up the sharp cheddar Swiss Colby Jack and pepper jack 
party tray, and then also the little Genoa salami rounds. These are actually not too bad in points, and they're a really good source of protein. You can just do the salami and cheese if you want to omit the cracker, but it's actually a really good filling protein-filled snack. And then I needed some tortillas for a dinner recipe. One of my friends that I coach actually told me about these carb balance mission tortillas. So thank you, Terry, for the suggestion. So I picked these up so that I could use these in the recipe and try these out. I've actually heard really, really good things about them. And then I went ahead and picked up two of the Simple Truth organic kombuchas in blueberry and ginger. I had a coupon for these, so it made them really, really affordable. So this is one of my favorites. It's a little higher in sugar. It's about 10 to 20 calories more than GTs, but I do actually really like the blueberry ginger from Simple Truth. Now, Simple Truth is a Fred Meyer or Kroger brand. Some dill relish for Troy's lunches. He's having tuna fish sandwiches this next week, and you can't have tuna fish sandwich without dill relish. Now, here's an item I haven't bought in I don't know how long, at least a year. This is the Smucker Sunday Syrup and Caramel. I was actually looking for the sugar-free one because that's what was in the recipe I wanna make for you guys, but they didn't have it. So I went ahead and picked this one up. I'll make some adjustments, maybe use less. We'll just add some points if needed. But this is just the Butterscotch Sunday Syrup. Again, they had zero caramel flavoring. So I went ahead and substituted for the butterscotch. It should still be really delicious in the recipe. Popcorn chicken for a dinner recipe. Wait till you guys see next week's Wednesday's what I eat in a day dinner recipe. I'm pretty darn excited about it. And it's using this or popcorn chicken. So I picked that up. Light shredded cheese because we are just about out of shredded cheese. My very favorite center cut bacon. I actually had a $2.50 off coupon for the private selection center cut bacon. You can actually have two slices for one point. So this is the lowest center cut bacon that you're going to be able to find. And again, this is the private selection brand from Kroger. Snickers bars in a WW haul. Yes, ma'am. This is for a recipe. I had to pick up some fun size Snicker bars. You can eat anything you want as long as it works within your points or calories. So I needed these for a recipe. A can of 98% fat-free cream of mushroom soup, also for a dinner recipe. If you can't guess, I'm making enchiladas. So I picked up the green enchilada sauce. I actually like this better than the red. And of course, I'm a spice wuss, so I picked up the mild. The Carb Master Milk is the main reason I went to Kroger so that I could use this in a recipe for you guys. This milk is actually lower calorie, lower point, and lower carb than any other milk, other than a milk alternative like almond milk, but this is actual milk, and it's really, really delicious. Troy will drink what's left. I'm actually not a milk drinker. I only use milk if it's in a recipe, but if you have a Kroger, again, this is the lowest point real milk that you can pick up. So I needed that for a dinner recipe. For tuna sandwiches for Troy, I picked up the private selection potato wide pan bread. For Sunday's dinner recipe, I needed some gravy. I actually wanted the beef, but they didn't have it. So it was turkey or pork. So I went ahead and picked the pork. This was the lowest calorie gravy. Does not have the best ingredients. I looked at all the gravies that Kroger had. None of them had good ingredients. So I went ahead and went with this one due to its calorie, fat, and point content. Crushed pineapple for a meal prep recipe. You guys are going to be really excited about what's coming on Monday in meal prep. Some Spanish rice for a recipe. The recipe actually called for boxed Spanish rice. And just so you know, Zatarans is the lowest calorie, lowest point option for Spanish rice. So if you can find this. This is honestly the best choice when it comes to a boxed Spanish rice. I went ahead and grabbed a pack of the Black Forest uncured ham from Trader Joe's just because I like to have lunch meat on hand. It's low calorie, low point snack, full of protein. So I always like to have some in my refrigerator and we are officially out. And lots of new items at Trader Joe's starting with the organic sparkling apple cider vinegar beverage. Now I've heard that this is really good. Don't be scared about the apple cider vinegar in it. I heard that you can't taste it at all. So I picked up one of the ginger and lemon and one of the lemon strawberry. I'm guessing kind of like a strawberry lemonade. So I'm excited to try these. I'll definitely report back to you guys and let you know what my thoughts are. Also new item are these plantain croutons with garlic and sea salt. These are gluten-free and vegan. Now someone told me that these are not necessarily 
great on salad. They're very small. I think they're about the size of what's shown here on the package and they're very hard, kind of like a corn nut. So I plan on using these more as a snack than a salad topper, but one tablespoon of these is only 35 calories. So you can have quite a bit as a good snack. So I wanted to grab those. And also on the plantain train, we have the Trader Joe's dark chocolate drizzled plantain chips sprinkled with sea salt. So these are dark chocolate sea salt plantain chips. Doesn't that sound absolutely incredible? So these were new at Trader Joe's as well. So of course I had to pick them up to try them. For Valentine's Day, I saw this cute little Belgium chocolate heart pack. There are six hearts in this box. It's 150 calories for three pieces or 50 calories for just one piece of chocolate, which is not bad at all. And they look absolutely incredible. You guys, this was less than $2. So if you're looking for an affordable, not too high calorie, high point chocolate for Valentine's Day, Highly recommend this one from Trader Joe's. My favorite Trader Joe's mashed potatoes. This is for Sunday's dinner recipe. And then everything else is produce. So I needed some corn. So I grabbed the organic super sweet cut corn frozen from Trader Joe's. We needed chives for several dinner recipes. Yellow potatoes also for an upcoming dinner recipe that I'm pretty darn excited about. I decided to get Meyer lemons this week for my water just to kind of change it up a little bit. Picked up a big head of iceberg lettuce for Troy's tuna sandwiches. And I like to have lettuce whenever I'm making any type of wrap or sandwich for that little bit of crunch. And then I had to get some sumos. I always forget every year how expensive these are. These three sumos right here were almost $8, but they're so, so delicious. They're in season for a short time. I love them. I love them cold. So I'm going to pop these in my fridge. So when I'm wanting an orange, I can grab it cold out of the fridge, which is my very favorite. And then one lone Granny Smith apple for a recipe. So that is everything for this week's grocery haul. Let's go ahead and taste test this Bear Bell protein bar before we jump into this week's meal plan and meal prep. All right, so let's try this Bear Bell salted peanut. This one is 200 calories. It has eight grams of fat four saturated fat, 20 grams of protein, and one gram of sugar with zero added sugars. It does have 13 sugar alcohols. I remember when I tried these last time that I wasn't a big fan of number one, the ingredients, and I could definitely taste that sugar alcohol. So I'm hoping that this one is different, but let's give it a try. Here's what it looks like. So it looks kind of like a Nestle Crunch Bar, but I believe that those are the peanuts. Let's try it. Cheers. It's okay. I definitely taste a lot of peanuts, not a lot of salt, but the peanuts definitely come forward backed with the sweetness of the bar. So I like this one probably the best out of all the Bear Bells that I've tried. I looked at the back and the ingredients are natural and artificial flavors and it's sweetened with sucralose, AKA Splenda, which is not the best choice for artificial sweetener. So I probably wouldn't buy this again. I definitely will finish this. And like I said, this is probably my favorite of all the Bear Bell bars. So if you're a fan of this brand, definitely grab these at Trader Joe's. I don't know if they're seasonal or a permanent item, but I would probably give this out of 10. I would give this an eight out of 10. So here's what's on my meal plan for this next week. Today's Saturday, we're doing a pizza night. This is my high calorie, high point day. We found a frozen pizza in our area that we're obsessed with, so we're going to have that for dinner tonight. Tomorrow, I'll be making a copycat KFC bowl, but it's a casserole, not an individual bowl. You guys will see this recipe in Wednesday's What I Eat in a Day. I'm pretty stoked for this, so definitely stay tuned. Monday, I'm doing crispy smashed potatoes. This also sounds really good. For some reason, I've been craving potatoes. So this recipe sounds incredible. Tuesday, all things, if all things go well, I'm going, Tuesday is a jazzercise night. So it'll be a leftovers night. Wednesday, I'm doing meatballs and gravy, a little bit of comfort food. Thursday is a buffalo chicken casserole, light on the buffalo because you know my husband does not do spicy. So I'm going to have to be very careful with how much spice I put into the casserole. And then Friday, we'll do leftovers because we always have quite a bit of food left over from earlier in the week. So we'll definitely eat that up on Friday. And here's what you guys will be seeing on Monday for meal prep. Definitely, definitely 
definitely stay tuned for that. We're gonna be doing an easy peanut butter overnight oat. It's been a minute since I've had overnight oats and it just sounds really, really delicious. And I love peanut butter, so you can't go wrong with that. Lunch, I'm doing beef and rice enchiladas. Like I mentioned, my husband doesn't do spice, so most enchiladas just are too spicy for him, but I love them. So I'm going to do a green sauce beef and rice enchilada, and then for dessert, this is what I'm really excited about. This is a WW Pound Dropper WW recipe for a two-point Snickers apple salad. Snickers apple salad. So that's what I picked up the Snickers for and the Granny Smith apples. So I'm really excited for this. I've actually had this before and it was amazing. So I want to share it with you guys in meal prep. So stay tuned on Monday to see all three of these recipes. Thank you so much for joining me on another weekly WW Grocery Haul. I hope you enjoyed seeing all the new food finds from Trader Joe's, the taste test, the cute little Valentine chocolate box. And if you have a dog, definitely pick up the Valentine's Day treats. My dogs absolutely loved them. If you enjoyed this grocery haul, please give it a big, huge thumbs up. And don't forget to make sure that you're subscribed and your bell notification is turned on so you don't miss a single video, more or less a single grocery haul. Don't forget to check out the description box for the calendar, last chance to grab one for the new year. Also my nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things, and of course my Facebook group. So head on over and join that community as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. Happy Saturday, and I'll see you guys all in my next video. Bye.